Thou shalt not steal. It's one of the Ten Commandments, but someone stole thousands of dollars worth of items from a local church. News 8's David Williams has the details. A pulpit and organ. These are things that can come to mind when you usually think of church. But what about all the other equipment that is necessary, like cameras, computers, and electronics? For one church on the west side, those items were taken to the amount of more than $4,000. God have mercy on him. Surely he didn't know what he was doing. Because if he knew that nobody steals from God, he would have done better. The burglary happened around 10 o'clock Monday morning here at the Celestial Church of Christ on 18th Street in Indianapolis. But little did he know that someone else was watching. The culprit was caught on the church cameras. The church staff recognized his face, for he had just attended church service two weeks ago. They had even helped him out by providing groceries, water, and over $200. We can only pray for him that God should touch his earth and uh, let him know that that's not the way of life, you know. That suspect wound up here, less than a mile away from the church. Police say that suspect tried to sell the church's stolen items at this auto repair shop. Owner Dan Parker felt something wasn't right. Parker opened the laptop and saw a clue on the screen. And it was actually the church's website. But they were in the middle of developing. Parker immediately called the church. The church officials came as well as the police. Because of his quick actions, almost all of the items were returned. It's pretty good. You know, good that they got their stuff back in. The church says their stolen digital camera lens that looks similar to this one is still out there somewhere, but they are more than thankful and there's forgiveness in their hearts. Surely, you know, we have forgiven him and God will surely forgive him. The police report says IMPD arrested the suspect for burglary. In Indianapolis, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. David, thank you.